Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. On this channel, last time we saw Samsung's One UI, Xiaomi's MIUI, Oxygen OS, and even the Pure Pixel Android. But what we haven't seen is the combination of all these UIs in one single room, and that is what exactly lives inside this Poco F1, so called Lineage OS Fan Edition. Let us explore more and see how it performs on a daily basis. So, without further ado, let's get started. Initial impression This is one of the best looking rooms on the market and much different than the regular Lineage OS in terms of styling. The room is based on Android version 11 with perf kernel under the hood. The build we are using is May 5 build with security patch of May 17. And we will be giving list of phones supported for this room at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Moving to the highlighting part, this beautiful room comes with its own launcher, so called launcher, that enables the customization to the next level. With the tip of finger, by tapping the home settings to set the custom icon packs, change the icon size, wallpapers, and you can even adjust rows and columns. On the bottom, in about section, all the developers are mentioned and hats off to all for bringing us this amazing room. So back to the topic. In the home screen, you can feel the stock Android, but once you step inside the settings menu, the essence of Samsung's One UI is present. And once you start scrolling down, it resembles the Pixel UI. Further moving to about device, the floating animation of MIUI shows up the device info and some gesture icons are implemented from Oxygen OS. Next by hitting the volume rockers, completely redesigned sliders can be seen and there are no room for live caption icon. Under the styles and wallpapers, there are colors, fonts and other usual items, but the attractive part is the clocks. There are many varieties starting from cool looking Spider-Man clock, the OnePlus clock and some other minimal clocks supported for both ambient display as well as the lock screen. In terms of performance, thanks to the Snapdragon 845 chip and the optimization done on this ROM, the animations are so smooth and quick that there would be no compromise on performance, keeping the beauty on its place. By setting up the thermal profile, we perform a benchmark on Geekbench and here are the benchmark scores and comparisons between similar ROMs where you can find there are drastic increase in CPU figures. We played some usual racing games and there is no such lag whatsoever. But sadly, there are no such special gaming modes available in this ROM. Talking about the battery, it is sort of average. It drains a bit more as compared to other stock rooms, but still it is not a day and night difference. All the basic battery optimization features like thermal profile, battery savers and the battery usage with beautiful floating animations are available. In camera section, it comes with a native lineage camera that does not provide even HDR controls, video stabilization and shooting videos at 60fps is not possible. So switching to Gcam would be an ideal solution for better camera performance. Moving to some cool features, this room offers a default call recording option. Wait a minute! <laughs> and comes with a neat call interface to speak with your loved ones. In sound section, we got audio effects that helps the user to control effects, bass and outputs to maximize the enjoyment. The new lock screen got music visualizer when a song is being played. This room also features inbuilt screen recorder that can record external as well as internal audio, same as we saw on pixel based rooms. And happy to see both double tap to wake and sleep feature is present. In terms of security, it is disappointing to see that safety net does not pass without root, but the UPA apps like Google Pay, Paytm works without any issues. Then we got a trust feature that shows the Android security patch level, status of encryption and other security related contents. Speaking about the cons that exist on this ROM, this ROM might be for those who love animations, customization or those who love 
experiments. This ROM might have one of the coolest interface and one of the outperforming ROMs on the market, but still this got some bad sides. Starting from IR Face ID, which is absent, that is handled by just a front facing camera. Next up, the support for G apps is not that great. The ROM does not come with Google Apps pre installed, and stuffs like autofill passwords should be enabled manually. And flashing G apps other than Mind the G apps would definitely crash the UI. Next up, the security. The native banking apps like SBI Yono simply does not work on this ROM. And for those users whose highest priority would be the battery backup, then it's not for you. Here are the list of phones that support Lineage OS Fan Edition. If it is available to your phone, I would really recommend to try this ROM at least for once. Procedure for installation is simple. Clean flash the ROM file and gapps if required and you can see the minimal boot animation of Lineage OS Fan Edition. All the files can be downloaded from link in description. If you have any queries regarding the installation or anything about this ROM, let us know in the comment section or you can DM us on Instagram. So don't forget to give a thumbs up, share with your family friends and hit that subscribe button. So thanks for watching. This is Aditya from Android Arena. Hope to see you in the next one.